so happy new year. Um, we are just, it's our first day back to school and I wanted to update everybody on what we've changed and all that fun stuff because I haven't done a homeschool update in a while so it's about time because I have changed a couple things. Sorry, my eye is Okay, um, so yeah, so follow along. changed much. We're not adding anything new into our homeschool for January. I know that that's pretty popular is to assess everything and then change things up for January after your Christmas break, but we are pretty good. But I don't think I have mentioned, maybe in my vlog I've mentioned, but I haven't really done my homeschool update in a while. So the only thing we've really changed is our history. We dropped Ambleside. I don't know. My girls just doesn't. I like Ambleside, but following the Ambleside schedule, but my girls just don't get anything from it, and I don't know if I'm just not doing it right, but we're dropping that again, and I asked Miat, I said, well, what kind of history do you want to learn about? I gave her the option. I was like, you can do early, you can do American history, we can do science history, we can do history, the horse history, and she, or any other country's history. So she has chosen China. So we started that a couple weeks ago. We haven't done much, but we started it when we went on Christmas break. And that's all we did We for a Christmas break. We just got rid of math and reading and just kind of did one. Every once in a while, we would um, do our Chinese history. So that's what we're doing from now. And I, it's no curriculum or anything. Here, I have it behind the camera. Hold on. All we're doing is following along on the Usborne Encyclopedia of World History, and I just look up all the China stuff, and so we're doing that, and I have it written down, kind of like the timeline for China's history, and they write it in their notebooks, and just write a sentence and the date, and then maybe draw a picture or color a picture and paste it in there. So, not hard. I mean, eventually, I would love to get, is it Beautiful Feet books? Um, their history, but I just can't afford it, and yeah, especially with Christmas. So that's just something I can't afford yet, but I want to maybe next year try to budget that into my thing because I, I hate, I don't, I'm not going to say I hate it, but I don't like, I just want to open something and go and have it tell me what to do instead of me taking the time and piecing together something, and so I wish I had something just to open and go. But I don't, so this is working fine. It's no, no big deal. Um, what else have we changed? We have done more with Good and Beautiful, so Miette's been doing more with that and um, reading to me. That's what she does for reading and language arts and stuff. Every once in a while we'll pull out first language lessons, but uh, every once in a while. And um, yeah, we got rid of spelling. That was a while ago. And yeah, so, and math, she's still loving the math, um, living, I don't know why I can't think of that name, math for a living education, math, uh, something like that. So we're enjoying that still, and so that's Mia, and, and Mackenzie for history. But for Kinsey, we have changed her up a little bit. We've started doing these, what, McCuffey's Eclectic Primer, Primer, and so, um, yeah, we started that, we're still in lesson one. Nothing too bad. I am, I'm just, we keep, we've done lesson one for like two weeks now. Just so she, I want her to be able to read it without having her trying to sound it out or struggling with any of it. And today was the first time she's actually read it just straight without having any struggles with the first lesson. So then we'll move on to lesson two tomorrow and read it until she has no problem with that. And she's doing more with Good and Beautiful. We haven't done um, how to teach your child to read in 100 lessons because that just stresses her out, but she likes the good and beautiful, so we're doing good and beautiful, level K for her more. And, um, yeah, sight word, flashcards, and Matthew C. Primer. So that's what she does, that's all she does. And then the history, or science, and blue loop stuff. Marley, sorry if I'm shaking, my tripod is broken, so I'm kind of, it's on the tripod, but it will like fall down, yeah. 
if I let go of it. So I start. I printed out her name tracing. So she's been working on. She's worked on that. We're gonna start doing that every morning. We did been doing it in her notebook, but I just didn't feel like tracing it all out and putting the dots and all that stuff. So I just printed out a worksheet. Um, we start her preschool morning out. We have this alphabet puzzle from Target, and I just we point to them and sing the ABCs, the ABC song, two, two or three times. And then I love these um, Spectrum preschool books. I don't know what their like kindergarten and up ones look like, but I really love the preschool ones. And this is what I use when I taught preschool. So we are starting this. We're on B now this week. So. Yeah, we did A last Friday. Friday we did random school because I was just so tired of the screens. And I said, put the screens away. We're doing school. <laughs> so today was our official day back from break. And here, let me see if I can <laughs> switch hands. So we really like this. I, I'll try to open it up. It's really colorful. And it's just really nice. And it just really works well. Ooh. That's how the tracing goes. So she's liking that. She's a worksheet girl, so Mackenzie is not a worksheet girl, but Marley is. Let me also just go over our alphabet flashcards. So and that's all she does. That's all she does. And like today, she did the salt tray and traced out her bees in the salt tray. And that's it. And that's what we'll continue to do through for a while because that works. Anything extra? Um, we started reading um, On the Banks of Plum Creek. So that's our new read aloud. And Mia is reading Breadcrumbs for her book club. And, hmm, all right, let me get my stool to see if there's anything new. Um, other than that, we do chess clubs on Tuesday, writing lessons on Wednesday, Marley does ballet on Tuesdays. We're starting a co-op, well, we've been, doing, been part of the co-op, but we're starting more intensive classes next week. I think it's next week. Um, so I'm going to teach the preschool class, which is only Miette and one or two other kids. And then uh, the other bigger girls are going to go with um, the bigger kids, and they're going to learn Spanish culture, Spanish-speaking cultures, and then for an hour, and then we're going to break for lunch there. So they're excited to have their lunch boxes. And then, they're being really loud. Um, and then the next hour is going to be, the other mom is going to do sciences, introduction to sciences. So one week's going to be biology, chemistry, and it's just going to do that and just do a little experiment with them. So I'm excited because we haven't really done science at all, at all this year, really, at all. We've done nature study, but not science or science experiments. I've just been lazy and not wanting to get myself together for science experiments. So... I'm glad about that. That's awesome. And that's it. Um, with me at, I do want to say that I do want to work more on her writing. She needs help on her writing and spelling. So we're going to work more on that. Huh? Okay. And just geography. So we're still learning the states. And that's it. So, yeah, that's pretty much all our updates. So, thanks. Bye.